After very careful review and consideration, I have made a decision as to my nominee to fill the vacancy on the United States Supreme Court created by the resignation of Justice Stewart. Since I'm aware of the great amount of speculation about this appointment, I want to share this very important decision with you as soon as possible. Needless to say, most of the speculation is centered on the question of whether I would consider a woman to fill this first vacancy. As the press has accurately pointed out, during my campaign for the presidency, I made a commitment that one of my first appointments to the Supreme Court vacancy would be the most qualified woman that I could possibly find. Now, this is not to say that I would appoint a woman merely to do so. That would not be fair to women, nor to future generations of all Americans whose lives are so deeply affected by decisions of the court. Rather, I pledge to appoint a woman who meets the very high standards that I demand of all court appointees. I have identified such a person. So today, I'm pleased to announce that upon completion of all the necessary checks by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, I will send to the Senate the nomination of Judge Sandra Day O'Connor of Arizona Court of Appeals for confirmation as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She is truly a person for all seasons, possessing those unique qualities of temperament, fairness, intellectual capacity, and devotion to the public good, which have characterized the 101 brethren who have preceded her. I commend her to you, and I urge the Senate swift bipartisan confirmation so that as soon as possible, she may take her seat on the court and her place in history.